Hey, good morning, Chuck here with Apple Drains. You know, I've been waiting over a year to create this experiment. Um, I brought the pump out last year, uh, put all the parts down in the ground, but I needed to have this swale fill up with water, and this is rainy season. So when it rains, we get afternoon rain every day, we have a replenishable supply of water. And I don't need to try to catch the water down underneath, it just runs back into the swale, and of course, it's just a perfect fountain and it's all solar so it's basically free once you buy all those solar parts this is just a shower head and it works pretty good i was surprised remember it's just an experiment and it's working really good and while i'm thinking about it if you guys would like to see the philippines uh, for zelda which is flora's daughter remember flora is my fiance and she's trapped in the Philippines until this pandemic is over and then she'll come here and we'll get married. But her daughter, Frizelda, has a really cool little YouTube channel. Take a look at the description box below, click the link. If you like the channel, subscribe, make a comment. I'm sure she would appreciate it. So if you're new to the channel, you notice that yes, we do rainwater drainage and I have hundreds and hundreds of videos that show all of that, but we also do much more. And I mean, I've got solar power videos up there, landscaping, construction videos, all kinds of neat stuff for you guys, and the how-tos. And so this is a how-to, and what does it have to do with drainage? Well, we've got a culvert out here. And just recently, I posted the video of how to clean that culvert, because I needed that culvert to be good in working order. And yeah, water stays here. Typical problem that everyone faces all around the country, this is lower than the next property. And water stays down there of course when it when it fills up with water it begins to flow but we have water here for about two months during the rainy season and the fountain is going to work great if you saw my water fountain the waterfall that i created out back of the shop um, i would love to do a wall of water across the front of this property and, and then light it up with some blue lights it would just look so cool um, but can i do that I can, but I just don't have that much time. A 10 foot section of that uh, waterfall took me about a week. It's mostly just because I'm really busy, but I really hope that you guys subscribe and share the link with your friends. So again, this was an experiment um, and I've been waiting over a year for the rainy season to come and you can see the swale, how it fills up with water and you can see that you can't even mow down there um, until that water recedes. It does go down, um, but of course we get so much rainfall and the groundwater is so high here that this usually stays full for a couple of months. And, um, but that's what the swale is for. Anyways, we've got a 12 volt pump over in the sump basin and the experiment. I just wanted to see if I could make a fountain and yeah, I mean, you can make a really neat fountain. And so I just use a shower head. I'm gonna put another one on here there for the video to show you how this system works. So if you remember, um, you know, I brought power out here to the front of the office driveway. And since then, I went ahead and put a battery out here. We've got it in, encased in a marine case so that it's nice and secure and watertight. And I know it's just sitting there. But remember, this is just an experiment to see if it would work. So I went ahead and put two panels out here. These are 15 watt panels from Harbor Freight. And I'll step back here. 15 watt panels from Harbor Freight. What I'll do is I'll mount them on this light post. That's why I brought the power out here was to put the security light up there. And you'll notice, if you can see it, can you see the blue light? The little blue LED strip? Okay, that's on 24 seven. And that's solar power. That's just a 12 volt system. And it just comes down here to the battery. And let's take a look in there so you can see. And again, it's just an experiment. So we've got a 12 volt marine battery and just a small solar charger a regulator from Harbor Freight also. I think this was $17, something like that. And yeah, you can see the low voltage because that little LED has been on all night. And so it's charging. And you know, by the end of the day, this will be off and that little blue light will stay on all night. It, it runs 24 seven. So a real simple setup. And again, nothing's secured. We may put some type of building out here, you know, to kind of hide all this stuff. 
but it will look like a totem pole <laughs> when we put I've got four more panels um, to help keep that battery charged so it will be like a totem pole but hey it's an experiment in solar power and to use that to see if we can get the pump you know and make a fountain and yes we can it is so cool so it's actually a free fountain and of course you know it does here at this time of year we get a lot of afternoon rainfalls but it's so hot that the yard you know some days it doesn't rain and sometimes we need to water the grass I can use this water and I've got the hose you can see where I haven't mowed it over here <laughs> but I've got this hose hooked up as well and we can use that to water all of the plants the flowers and the yard if we wanted to so on that first piece of the fountain I just had an extra uh, I've got another one here an extra shower head and what I had to do was I had to take the screen out because it is a messy uh, water that we're pulling up and it kind of got clogged so I'm going to take the screen out and then I'm going to take the handy dandy drill and I'm going to actually drill some holes because this gets clogged also. I've got to figure out, and I'd be interested if you guys want to post some comments, how I can keep that debris from coming up through that pump and you know clogging up our little jets here on the fountain. So if you've got some ideas about that, like I said, the screen is very, is very tight and it, it just clogs up right away. But I'd be interested in some ideas. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and drill a couple holes in here just to help that water get through there. And then, let's just see if we can't drill a couple holes here real quick. So on the outside. So it looks like this is a rubber piece. Maybe we'll just drill one here. Basically just go all the way around. Then we'll screw this onto the fountain and see what kind of a fountainhead it creates. More than likely, I'll go and you know get smaller pipe, different fittings and tees so that we can make branches of that fountain and make it come up. Um, and if you remember my waterfall video, that was another great experiment. Um, I would love to create a wall of water across that front yard. Uh, it would take a lot of time because a 10 foot section took me about a week to build. Um, you know, I'm pretty busy. So <laughs> anyways, let's go okay. ahead. Let's drill the center. And I'm actually gonna make that one a little bit larger because I really want that water to shoot out of there. So a pretty large one here in the center. And we'll see what that one does. So we've got all these little jets around the side. Whoops, can you see that? All these little jets around the side and one in the center. Let's go screw this onto that fountain head and see what it okay. does. Okay, let's change out this shower head, see if it, to make a new fountain. And I wanna show you guys something else too. Remember I said there's a lot of debris? Take a look. Can you see that? That's just grass clippings that come up from when I cut the grass, you know, and it gets into that swale. But if you, have, if you have some ideas on how to stop that, remember the screen is too fine, it'll just clog up the screen. So I've drilled through this screen, and of course I showed you that, drilled through that section. Let's just see if it'll fit. <laughs> and we'll tighten that up. Let's tighten that up a little bit. Now let's kick on that pump. Oh yeah, nice. I'm pretty impressed. Again, these are just $2 shower heads and they work great. <laughs> I'm getting all wet, but feels good out here. Um, so we could drill some more holes and experiment some more. Um, I would be really interested, you know, send me your comments. Tell me what you think about what we can do to create another fountain, a type of fountain. Maybe you've already done this, maybe not. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.